Primary School Category SJKC Cheng Siu, Bachu Pahat Good evening, I'm Dali Ting. Welcome to Saba News. Bringing you today's news, Wednesday 2nd of November 2022, we start off today with updates on the 608 plus hotspots identified in Saba. As reported in the Star, 1st September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters. With the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November, the state nature disasters community has identified 608 floods hotspots across the state. Say Sabah's state secondary, Dato Sapa Uto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to deploy to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as a part of the logistics deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or separations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disasters, management's community to face the disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management's community worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the North East Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKC Chenghua, Papper. Good evening, I'm your Suchi. Welcome to the Saba News. We will be today news, Thursday, 3rd of November. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Saba as reported in the start by September 2022. Saba is getting ready for the possibility of a disaster. With the coming north is Monsoon, season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Six Sabah State Secretary, Datuk Safar Untong, he said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Sabah said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or celebration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy the respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. So far, also say the state is monitoring various people concerned and answering the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. They were all here up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again in the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Saint Francis Xavier, Kenningau. Good evening, I'm Hurul Shifa. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Saturday, 3rd September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608th flood hotspots identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season, expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. 
Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKTQLIM, Keta. Good evening, I'm Tanisha Altimogel. Welcome to the Sava News. Bringing you today's news, Thursday 3rd November. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sava, as reported in the Star, 1st September 2022. Sava is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters, with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sama State Secretary Dr. Safaruto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa say they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or sanitations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safa also say the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring that these disaster management committees worked effectively at all levels. He say they will all gear up for the northeast to move soon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Kain Get Twarren. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Monday 31st October 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1 September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state said Sabah State Secretary, Datu Safar Uto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar so said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or generations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast Moon Zoo. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Lingabaru, Tuaran. Good evening. I'm Noor Darusha Sandu. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Saturday, 29th October 2022. We start of today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the Star, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspot across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar Unto. 
he said, a thousand four hundred and thirty-two personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate resident or situation to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all dirt up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time at the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. <laughs>
Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJK Tier Mira, Qlim. Six hundred and eight flood hotspots identified in Sabah. Hello and good morning. Thanks for tuning in. I am Sanjana Chakkar Jukinder Singh. Welcome to the Sabah News at ten, bringing you today's news, seventh September, twenty twenty two. We start off today with the updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star for September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Unto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportations, 208 boats and 8 aircrafts as part of the logistic deployment. So far said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or sign rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committees work effectively at all top levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon season. With that, concludes news at 10, and our top news is 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah. Team for more updates at the same time and team channel. I'm Sandina Tukar to the Singh from Sabah News at 10. Thank you for your attention. SK Lokyuk Telepok, Tuaran. Good evening, I'm Eva Anabagoni. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Thursday, 3rd November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the SAR, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State National Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state said Sabah State Secretary, Datuk Safa Untung. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Sabah said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Sapa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee works effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK St. John, Tuaran. Good evening. I'm Muhammad Isla Daniel. Welcome to the Saba News bringing you today's news, Friday, 4 November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in Star 1 September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Unto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for North East Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. Diavi School, Thailand. Good evening, I'm Senrak. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Friday, November 4th. We start off with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star, September 1st, 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season, expected to begin early November. 
The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Slava State Secretary Natuk Safar Mutong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle <coughs> emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. So far, has said they have also set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar has also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast monsoons. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Babagon, Panampan. Good evening, I'm Eva Nikita. Welcome to the Sabah News. We give you today's news, Friday, 9th of September, 2022. We start off today with the updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star, 1st September, 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Natok Safan Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to have, were, were deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said that the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the, ma the disaster management committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKC Chen Sen, Tuaran. I'm Kerry. Welcome to Sabah News. We start off today with the updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1, September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Said Sabah State Secretary, Datuk Safar Untong, he said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and air aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the Disaster Management Committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Renjit, Baju Pahath. Good evening, I'm Nurul Srinivasa Shahinda. Welcome to Sabah News, the news and news news. Wednesday, 2 November 2022. We started off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star Wars September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibilities of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon, season expected to be in early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspot across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle already such as flood and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. So far said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All their state officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy. 
their respective district disaster management communities to face disasters suffer also said the state is monitoring various people concerned in ensuring the disaster management communities work especially at all levels he said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon that's all for today's news we'll meet again at the same time and the same channel thank you for your attention and goodbye sk bungalio tuaran <laughs>
2nd September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah. As reported in the Star, 1st September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming of this monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dr. Sabah He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and a aircraft as part of the logistics program. So far said, the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKT Seri Palangi, Bachu Pahat. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Yashika Jensen. Welcome to the Saba News bringing you today's news on Friday, 4th November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the staff. On 1st of September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspot across the state. The Sabah State Secretary, Dato Sapa Untung said, 8,432 personnel of various agencies were ready to be employed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Sapa said that they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate dead residents or send veterans to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committee to face the disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Tansaw, Pewditan. Welcome to the Sabah News. Main news, today's news, 27 October 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots. Identified in Sabah as reported in a star, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters. With the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November, the State Natural Disaster Committee has identified in 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Sabah Pinto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send patients to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face their disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Kelawat, Tuaran. Good evening, I'm Debbie and Martin. Welcome to the Saba News, bringing you today's news Friday, 2nd September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 that passports identified in Saba as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. 
Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood postponed across the state since Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar Kutong. He said 5,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for less transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar so said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents from San Russian to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar so also said the state is monitoring the most people's concerns in ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they will all gear up for the Northeast Mountain. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Sungali Pasir Kechil, Sungali Patani. Good evening. I am Nazim Alhoifa, Ben Zaidi. I'm from Sekolah Kebangsaan, Sungai Basi Kecil. Welcome to Saga News. We give you today's news Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. We start off the day with update on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming Northeast Monsoon season, expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar bin Untung. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disaster during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy the respective district management committee to face the disasters. So far also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee works effectively at all levels. He said they all geared up for the northeast moon zone. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time, same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Kaluin, Torin. Good evening, I'm Zara Aisha. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Thursday, 3rd November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the start 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datu Safar Untong. He said, 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergency such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention. And SK Gan, Torin. 
I'm Muhammad Alian. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news Thursday, 1st of November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah. As reported in the start 1st of September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster. With the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November, the State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Said Sabah, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safa Untong, he said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to, de to be deployed to handle emergency such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have to also prepare 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic de de deployment. Safa said they have to set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or situation to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people concerned and ensuring the disaster management committees work effectively at all levels. He said they will all clear up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Tuvisen, Codable Lot. Good evening, I'm Edison Obi Arishon. Welcome to the Sabah News bringing you today's news. Friday, 2nd of September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star, 1st of September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datu Safar Utong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during the period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircrafts as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult-to-reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face new disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the North East Monsoon. That's all for today's update. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the Sabah News Broadcast. Thank you. SJKC Kakwa Taliban, Tuaran. Good evening, I'm Eliza Lee Welcome to Seven News, bringing you today's News Friday, 2nd of September 2022. We started today with updates on 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the start. First of September 2022, Sabah is doing ready for the possible for the possibility of flood disasters in the coming northeast monsoon season, expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dr. Sabah Uta. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to deploy to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they are also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircrafts as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents for sand rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disasters management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring people's concerns and ensuring the very the disasters management committee work efficiently at all levels. He said they were all geared up for Northeast Muslim. That's all for today. News. We meet again at the same time, same channel. Thank you. And attention in your way. SK Seri Bulin, Yong Pen, Bachu Pahat. Good evening. I'm Nabiha Hana. Welcome to Sabah News, bringing you today's news, Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. We start off today with updates on 600 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star on September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early in November. 
the State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar Unso. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft. As part of the logistic deployment, Safar so said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All the district's officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees. To face the disaster, Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for, for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKC Shanghen, Cebu. Good evening, I'm Aris Ding Yushen. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news. Wednesday, the 2nd of November. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the start. The 1st of September, 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, says Sabah State Secretary, Tatok Sabah Untok. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for lane transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or same ration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all the levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Batchuputet, Kinabatangan. SK Bankahak Baru, Kota Balut. Good evening, I'm Tanya Razan. Welcome to the Sabah News Review Today's New, Friday, 4 November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the start of September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of a disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datu Sabah Punto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergency, such as flood and other disaster during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for life transportation, 200.
108 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter linking areas to evacuate residents or send patients to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people concerned and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and at the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Kota Kinabatangan. Kinabatangan. <laughs>
He added that they had also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 bugs and 8 aircrafts as part of the logistic deployment. So far said, they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or sent rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. SK Lohan ran out. SK Bindu, Bachu Pahat. I'm Mohan Sali. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Saturday, 5th November of 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah. As reported in the Star, 1st September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin in the neighborhood. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the states. Six of our secretary, Dato Safa Utu, he said 8,432 personnel from various other, from various agencies were ready were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for the transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic department. Some are saying they have to set up 75 helicopters, then the rest to evacuate residents on same ration to difficult to reach areas. All these officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people concerned and ensuring the, the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they will all give up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Labuin, Code of Lot. Good evening. I am Mohamed Kahir. Welcome to the Saba News, bringing you today's news. Friday, 4th of November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 hospitals identified in Saba, as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. 
Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters that the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state since Sabah State Secretary, Datu Safar Antum. He said 8,422 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land tra transportation, 200 airports and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send residents to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee works effectively at all levels. He said they will all gear up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We'll meet again at the same time in the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Seri Pasir Putet. Dachu Pahet. Good evening. I'm Hazi. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news. Friday, September 2nd, 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flight hotspot identified in Sabah. As reported in the Star, September 1st, 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flight disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season. Expected, expected to begin early November. The State National Disasters Committee has identified 608 flight hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safa Untuk. He said, 8,432 personnel from various agencies. We are we are ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disasters during this period. He added they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and eight aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate incident or send decision to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disasters management committees to face the disasters. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disasters management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all get up for the not as monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKC Changhuo, Cebu. Good evening, I'm Jana. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news Friday from November 2022. We start off today with update on the 608 blood of four. Identified in Sabah as the in the star, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of the disaster with the coming of its new citizens, expected to be early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 votes for hotspots across the state. Said Sabah State Secretary Dr. Sabah Utok. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed and to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during the period. He added that they have also prepared 922 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Sabah State they have set up 75 helicopters that they address to evacuate residents or send ratio to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Sapa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and assuming the disaster management committee work, effectively at all levels. He said they will all gear up for the North East Museum. That's all for today's news. We'll meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK St. Paul Colopez, Penampan. Good evening. I am Damian Chris Astro. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Friday 4th November 2022, we start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots. Identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season, expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies 
were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during mm -hmm. this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to dif too difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be to deploy their respective district disaster management committees. To face the disasters, Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concern and answering the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for the attention. Goodbye. SJKC Chung Hua Ma Tu, Darrow. Good evening. I am Dara Kisina Mikitani. Welcome to the Southern News, bringing you today's news. Friday, 4th November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star, 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters in the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The state National Disasters Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Sabar Utong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Zavar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disasters management committees to face the disasters. Kampung Banyak, Cebu. Good evening. I'm Muhammad Yuri bin Abdul Latif. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Friday, 4 November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming not is monsoon season expect to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Said Sabah State Secretary Datuk Safa Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, she added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committees were effectively at all levels. He said they have were all geared up for the not is monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Penampan, Penampan. Good evening. I'm Alicia Danya. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Monday 16 September 2022. 
We start off today with updates on the 608 flute hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the staff. 1st September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flute disaster with the coming northeast monsoon expected to begin early November. The State Mutual Disaster Committee has identified 608 flute hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Untong. He said, 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flutes and other disaster during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. So far, sir, they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send ration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We'll meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Pekin Bongawan, Papper. I'm Putri Bakis Akila. Welcome to the Saba News, bringing you today's news, Tuesday, 25th October 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Saba. As reported in the Star, 1st September 2022, Saba is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster. With the coming Northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Unto. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disaster. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation. 200 8 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landings areas to evacuate residents or send ration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they will all gear up for the northeast mountains. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. <laughs>
208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residing or send ration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and enduring this disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all get up for the not his monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Pekin ran out, ran out. Good evening, I'm Blessy. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Friday, 4th of November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 plant hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star for September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 hot flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datu Sapar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concern and ensuring the Disaster Management Committee worked effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the Northeast Monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. Good evening. I'm Yasara Amira binti Amir Anwar. Welcome to the Sabah News. Bringing you today's news, Monday, 3rd October 2022. We start off today with updates on 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters. With the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November, the State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspot across the state, said Sabah State Secretary. Dato Safar Untong, he said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats, and 8 aircraft. As part of the logistic deployment, Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters tending areas to evacuate residents or generation to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committee to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people concerns. And injuring, the ver and injuring the Disaster Management Committee were effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the North East Winston. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SJKC Yon Sheng, Cebu. Good evening, I am Mr. Wong Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news to November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 blood hotspots in the fire in Sabah as reported in the Sawan September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November, the state natural disaster. Committee has identified 608 blood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Shikunet. 
that the number of cases of the number of cases of the number of cases of the number of Agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also repaired 928 vehicles for land transportation and 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the locusts deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate resistance or send resilience to difficult to reach areas or the district officers have been included to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees. To face the disaster, Safa also said the state is monitoring resistance people concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's what that's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Jayabaru, Kenningau. Good evening, I am Ashley Ondina Ambros. Welcome to the Sabah's News bringing you today's news, Fridays, 4th of November 2022. We start off today's with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1 of September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming Northeast Monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State National Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state. Since Sabah State Secretary Datu Safa Unbam, he said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergency such as floods and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 926 vehicles from land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safa said they have set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate residents or send ration to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safa also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said that they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time with the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Bubble, Semporna. Good evening, I'm Hazika Masfira. Welcome to Savan News, bringing you today's news, Friday, 4th November. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1st September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disasters with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircrafts as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. So far, also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Manangui, Kota Balad. Good evening, I'm Arfa Hatul Shazwina. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's list. Friday, 4th September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah, as reported in the Star for September 2022. 
Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as floods and other disasters during the period. He added that they have also prepared 928 vehicles for land transportation, 208 boats and 8 aircraft as part of the logistic deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to difficult reach areas. All district officers hold have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disasters. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they will all give up for the not is nonsense. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK Lenongkwan, Tuaran. Good evening, I'm Daniel Hebe Sabarips. Welcome to Sabah News bringing you today's news. Thursday, 4th November 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspots identified in Sabah. As reported in the Star 1st September 2022, Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming of this monsoon season expected to begin early November. The state, the state Natural Disaster Committee, Committee has identified 608 flood hotspots across the state, said Sabah State Secretary Datu Safar He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies, such as floods and other disasters. During this period, he added that they have also prepared 988 vehicles for land transportation, 280 boats and 88 aircraft as part of the logistics deployment. Safar said they have set up 75 helicopters landing areas to evacuate residents or send rations to, to difficult to reach areas. All district officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people's concerns and ensuring the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all great gear up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and same channel. Channel. Thanks. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. SK 10M back, Tuaran. Good evening. I'm Musa Anwar. Welcome to the Sabah News, bringing you today's news. Monday, 2nd September 2022. We start off today with updates on the 608 flood hotspot identified in Sabah as reported in the Star 1 September 2022. Sabah is getting ready for the possibility of flood disaster with the coming northeast monsoon season expected to begin early November. The State Natural Disaster Committee has identified 608 flood hotspot across the set, said Sabah State Secretary Dato Safar Untong. He said 8,432 personnel from various agencies were ready to be deployed to handle emergencies such as flood and other disasters during this period. He added that they have also prepared 928 VHL for land transportation, 208 boat and 8 aircraft. As part of the logistic deployment, Safar said they had set up 75 helicopter landing areas to evacuate resident or send rations to difficult to reach areas. All district disaster officers have been instructed to be ready to deploy their respective district disaster management committees to face the disaster. Safar also said the state is monitoring various people concerned and using the disaster management committee work effectively at all levels. He said they were all geared up for the northeast monsoon. That's all for today's news. We meet again at the same time and the same channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.